The old Greek taxi driver puts on the brakes, shaking his head in disgust. He pulls over, shuts the engine off, gets out, puts up the hood. He's seriously worried about his engine blowing out. He lights up a stuka, which is a Greek, a cheap Greek cigarette named after the German bomber, the stuka that devastated his island when he was a young goat herder. The weathered uh, potney and the ponders. How much does he really need this fare? Seems so unfair. Mm -hmm. He's disgusted. He tugs his balls, curses. Carcos, anthropos. Bad man. Yeah. Well, he glances at the distant cruise ship, the Zephyros, down in Scala Harbor. <laughs> Way down there. Looks back at Wolfgang. Get out. My taxi. Kaput. You walk. Prayer candles sputter mystical wings in the cave of St. John, his eternal timeless home. Cleo and uh, Earthman are touched to the core by this obvious display of supernatural power when they understand that uh, holy cats like John <laughs> trunked, uh, uh, trumped uh, Wolfgang ugliness centuries ago. They're humbled to the depths and causes tears to flow freely down their cheeks. What a divine rush. Mm. Well, uh, before returning to their uh, Domartio, their little love nest back in Scala, the uh, natures of lover drift uh, through the insect humming landscape until they see a remote cult in the far distance, shimmering turquoise. <laughs> Everything's turquoise around here. Turquoise, the royal uh, color of the Ottoman Turks, uh, means, in French, the blue of the Turks. Turquoise, royal color, yeah. Like the Aegean, uh, sparkling down there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, cruising down to this secret beach, uh, out of the way beach, uh, they wade through meadows abundant with uh, white dwarf irises, crocus flowers, uh, yellow violets, until they emerge into an abandoned orchard of overgrown fig trees that were last pruned decades ago. That's when Shakti spots it. Yes! <laughs> she squeals. She almost steps into a freshwater bubbling spring coming right out of the ground, not that far from the beach. Oh, great, <laughs> says Earthman. He fills up his goatskin uh, water flagon full again. Okay. And uh, they smoke a pipe of now rare hashish. Just a couple pipes to go. And they got to get over to Turkey and restock. Um... They talk silly. <laughs> Get the giggles. Yeah. Cleopatra runs her hand along the blue jean shorts of Earthman to feel, uh, <clears throat> what's up? Yeah. She grins foolishly when she feels the blood pulsing through his ever growing <laughs> cock yeah um, she moistens her lips <laughs> yeah and uh, so hot in May you know like uh, the sponge matriarch said uh, uh, you know May hot donkey dongs dragging on the ground hot okay <sighs> cool down they just strip naked and splash right into the 
to the ghouls. A jam. Yeah, cool down. <laughs> they play like immortal dolphins. <laughs> Thrilled to be young. And free from the world. Oh, and in their heads. <laughs> yeah. Nude. Dripping wet. Shakti fashions uh, her skirt as an erotic landing pad in the succulent creeper vines that colonize the shoreline. Mm -hmm. Steve, uh, Shiva steps out of the Aegean. He's sexually urgent. <laughs> and when Shakti spots his uh, pointer, flesh pointer, towards Rose, she jokes, Oh! Looks like Suleiman the Magnificent is ready to ram down <laughs> the door to my crusader castle. Ah, yeah. And she reposes uh, seductively to enchant her lover by making all the shapes with her mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Shiva demands, uh, open your harbor mouth and surrender to the flagship, the ramrod of Suleiman. <laughs> he warns paper playfully as his uh, magnificence <laughs> vanishes into her throat. But whimsically, he prefers to plunder the loot from her. <laughs> A land down under. Oh, yeah. oh. So he gently uh, lifts her head from his ramrod, from her suckling. She collapses into the tall grass. She widens her legs and raises them slightly above the uh, grass, and she uses her fingers uh, to part her pussy cunt lips. <laughs> yeah, wide with her fingers. Ramrod's got got to find a direction to. She's helping out here. Man. Earthman, what a magnificent pose. Oh. The Sultan, enthusiastically, uh, yeah, he enters his harem, slave. I mean, their fantasy sex is just getting going for the afternoon. Pick a theme and just run with it. Suleiman. Gates, portals, pussies, yeah, um, yeah, they disappear in uh, French kisses, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. pure sexual abandon, the afternoon flows by. Yeah. They, they intuitively discover molasses, slow motion sex in their co-created bubble of youthful romantic lust. Together they discover universal truth. That the myriad worlds can be experienced micro worlds in every Sexual pose and V pose in every isolated cove, in every limestone cave, in every watchtower. Mm -hmm. The devoted pilgrims discover a microcosmicos, small universe, mm -hmm. all along the watchtowers of the ruined crusader outposts in the Greek island. Mm. 
<laughs> After another mellow nude swim in this isolated cove, the nature lovers uh, gaze at the mystery of distant shores. Island of Acre, Turkish mainland, Acadia to the west. Uh, Cleo loves Earthman more and more. Mm -hmm. Still bare ass, she cuddles him in her arms and they kiss in the beach grass. You are a sexy young boy. She sighs with her heart bursting in adoration for the first time in her life. Feeling blessed that she split Linda's on that fateful night.